Hello, I'm Sarah Corbett Winder, this is Margaret, and welcome to my life in jewellery. Come on in. So the first thing I want to talk to you about, which I really love, is my engagement ring. It began life as a very thin, very beautiful cocktail ring with sapphires around it, but I'm quite I'm going to say heavy-handed, I'm not your most elegant girl, my husband will be laughing watching this, and I pulled it on the bin, I broke it on a seat belt, it was, it was just not really working for my heavy-handed lifestyle. So we had it reset, we kept the original diamond and then we popped a couple of emeralds in either side, and I love the chunkiness of the ring and I think if I got engaged now, this is exactly what I'd be after. I was joking with Ned saying that we should do it every 10 years, have an upgrade. But with the sapphires that were around the ring, we managed to create this, I'm gonna call it a bomb ring as well, which has also got the black diamonds which are in my wedding ring. And so I've got two wonderful big chunky rings now. While we're on marriage and engagement, I've got something to show you. So this, da 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 da, is how my husband proposed to me. Yes, she has been framed. Sorry, excuse me, love. Um, so I used to work in a shop and I drank one of those very complicated soya sugar-free hazelnut la la lattes, as we all did back in our day. And Ned went and bought me one for, um, as he came into the shop to see me in the morning. He comes around the corner with two coffees in his hand, this one included. This one goes everywhere, spills all over the carpet. I'm like, oh my God, for goodness sake. Go and get some, I try to find some sort of kitchen roll, something to clean it up. It's so unglamorous, I'm patting it down, furious. Look down and he's on one knee with the cup. Voila. Come to the kitchen and I'll show you my next piece. Coming, darling. So the kitchen, this is probably where we spend most of our time. It really is the heart of the house. I really love jewellery because obviously it looks great, but I also love it because you can have so many memories behind a piece, which is why I love this piece so much. So my mum gave me this. It's from Istanbul and it's a beautiful, I'm going to call him a protector figure. He hangs on my dressing table. I wear him in the summertime, but he's more there just to look after me. I'm all about clothes, so let's take this upstairs to the wardrobe where the magic happens. Welcome to my world. I'm a clothes addict, but I'm also a stylist. So clothes are super important to me. And what I love most about them is that you can really express yourself. So I take great joy in putting on my armor for the day every morning. But of course, no outfit is complete without your jewels. So let me take you over to my dressing table. As with everything in my life, it all needs to be a piece of art. So obviously my dressing table needs to be the same. But I mean, jewelry is so great. So why wouldn't you have it on display so you can really enjoy it? I love coming here every morning and picking out what I'm gonna wear for the day. Of course, my children love coming up here, but they are banned to here. It doesn't really happen. So let me talk about what I'm loving with Missima right now. Okay, first let's start with the ears. I actually don't even know if I need to say anything. I mean, okay, I've got nine piercings, which I actually really need another one. I'm not very good on uneven numbers, so I think one more needs to be done. But just take that in as well. So I've gone for gold, I'm a gold girl, and added in some black onyx, hope I'm saying that right. And then a few huggies going up the ear, but then I've gone for a statement, more of a statement piece here. I always think it's quite good to have your biggest statement at the bottom, just to ground your ear, and then you just keep that, you know, keep it going on up. So ears, done. Rings, I mean, again, where do we start with this? So gold and black onyx as well. We've got a bit of a waffle ring. We've got a twisted ring. We've got a pinky ring. I just think more is more, obviously. More, I'm definitely a maximalist. And then necklaces. So I'm all about layering. And I used to be about layering thin chains, but I've now, I feel like I've matured. I've upgraded. So I'm now about chunky chains. I'm actually wearing two chunky chains. They're the same, but this is made slightly shorter. But let me just give you a real look at her. 
Firstly, let's just look at the way she's connecting. I mean, it's just, I just love it. It's so chic. Let me show you some ways that I'd be wearing this girl. So, I'm yet to go, but if I were, when? I will be going on the red carpet and you wanted to wear some real sparkle and shimmer, just pop this on. I'd probably make her a bit shorter just so she's a bit more like, a little bit like this, a bit more like a choker, but it just really completes the look and gold on gold, great. If I was going for like an everyday, really casual look, I would probably be in this department, which is the white shirt department. I mean, this for me, you just can't go wrong. Get that button undone one little bit too low. Your cuffs up. So chic, so expensive looking. Now, if you're not on the red carpet, but you're wanting to go out, let's say date night, dinner, just a good evening look, I would go a very simple black tux. So imagine I've got some black tux trousers and then just a black tux blazer. I mean, that's just a killer, maybe a bit of a red lip. I'd probably go for a loafer actually with this, just to really complete the look. Oh gosh, I almost forgot. Okay, so my favorite, well, my last favorite piece is this da, 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 necklace, which Ned very sweetly gave me on our wedding day. I mean, I love a gift, but I was not expecting another gift on our wedding day. So it's got our initials on it and um, the date that we got married. And I've just got it on this lovely Harris Reed chain and it just slots in there. Always on, always there. So that's my life in jewellery and it's now time for you to get out my wardrobe. Come on. <laughs>